Good morning! I am headed to the booth today to do a restock. I've been talking about it if I've ever and I'm finally doing it today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit anxious because I'm going by myself. Dalton usually goes with me, but I need to do things by myself, so I'm going there alone. Um, I have a few more things I need to bring downstairs that I left up here. Um, I saw these like seashell glasses sitting up here and a few other things. Everything else is packed in my car and ready to go. It's in the trunk. We actually just went garage sailing and someone had one of those like big wagons. They like threw it in with our purchase. So now I have a wagon to bring with me, which actually makes things easier. Um, I can show you like when we get down to the car, but I'm going to show you my fit for the day. Please ignore the background. Oh no. Nothing broke, we're all good. The most basic outfit you will ever see in your life. I have my all birds on. I thrifted this top. I wore it in my what sold video, so you probably, you might recognize it, but I thrifted this uh, and I can't stop wearing it. It was like New Tags Auden, which is that Target brand. I got it for three or four dollars at Goodwill. And I want every color now, they're so comfortable. I feel like it's branching out a little bit from my wearing active wear every day, just because it's like a halter top. It's not like a regular. The, it still counts. <laughs> and then this jacket, I feel like I think I got it at like H&M a long time ago. So that is the OOTD. Leggings are American Eagle. Okay, now we're going down to the car. Also, really fast, um, this morning I was able to apply for monetization on this channel. So like the ads that you already see on this channel, now I get like a little portion of the AdSense. I got my 4,000 hours of watch time. So I just wanted to say thank you. Like obviously that wouldn't have been possible without you guys watching my videos so I really really appreciate it I'm so excited I also got approved to sell on whatnot this morning so I woke up to like both of those emails which was super exciting so that's still in the works I have no more updates about that I still have to do like their onboarding call and stuff but yeah just wanted to let you know about that I told you guys in my last video I always bring candlesticks with me I almost forgot those so I have to grab those I got this bag recently in a haul like a haul I posted a few weeks ago. So I think I'm just gonna bring some of these ones, figure out which ones kind of go together. Um, I'm just gonna bring a bunch of random ones. Like I like this tan one. I do have a lot of, oh, I'm dropping everything today. I do have a lot of like greens going on in my booth. So I think I'm just gonna bring some like greens and pinks. Tan, green, pink. <laughs> There's some black ones in here. Maybe I'll bring those. Okay, I think that's enough. How am I gonna carry this stuff down? The candlesticks and the glasses. A grocery bag. Okay, like these colors I think are cute together. So that's what we're going with. Should I put the glasses in this bag? Probably not, but I'm gonna. I just have to make it down to the car. I got bubble wrap in the car. I'm only on like the third floor, it's fine. Okay, I also got my basic cup. Okay, we're going. The trunk is all packed and then wagon is in the back seat that window is very dirty <laughs> okay so the booth is like an hour and a half drive away from me on toll roads but when i'm by myself i don't like driving on the toll roads because i like being able to like pull off and exits if i need to if i get anxious and like toll roads don't have any so i'm probably gonna take the way that takes like 20 minutes longer but feels better for my anxiety so i'm gonna do that it's so i'll like check back in in a few hours i'm also probably gonna stop at starbucks and get food and some caffeine probably some tea i'm still not drinking coffee so okay i will check back in when we get to melbourne all right i'm having a dilemma because it literally takes like 30 minutes longer today if i avoid the tolls so do i a uh test my anxiety and just do the toll roads or do i take the longer 30 minute plus route because last time i drove here by myself i had like a panic attack on the toll roads because i couldn't exit and i needed a breather from driving on the highway i think i'm gonna take the longer 30 minute and then reassess on the way home and see if i can do the other one i know this sounds dumb if you're like just drive on the toll road it's faster uh but my anxiety is illogical uh not reasonable and i recognize that but might just have to do the you know 30 minute longer drive today which is okay i'm gonna go to starbucks and drive and be back it's really hard not to shut my keys in the trunk i didn't think this through because the laundry basket doesn't fit in the wagon with the bag Okay, let's do this.
All right, sticking the camera in the wagon and taking you guys along with me. The first thing I do when I walk in is I grab my price stickers from behind the counter. I enter all of the information online and then they have them printed for me by the time I get there, which is super nice. Then I head back to my booth, it's booth G10. I'm very surprised everything looks to be in like the same place I left it. Uh, there are some times where stuff is super moved around. Looks like I sold some mugs over here and some Fiesta wear as well. I'm kind of confused because I thought the bowls got returned, but I'm gonna have to ask them about that. Some of the Fiesta wear mugs are gone as well. I need to restock those. I decided that I want to put the cat's meow on this back shelf. But then like as I'm adding the prices and as I go to add them back here, I realize that it's kind of wobbly and I don't want them to have like a domino effect if someone like bumps one of them and they all fall over. So I think I'm going to put them on the other shelf instead. I think that they'll look good over here and I can move some of this stuff around because it's been sitting there for a while. So I'm moving all of this stuff from this shelf back to that empty shelf you saw in the last clip. And then I'm just pricing all of the cat's meow pieces and then putting them on the shelf. I think I put all of these at $5 a piece, which I think would probably make my earnings on them around $4.50 once they sell, uh, which is a good price. I bought these in bulk. So here's me just adding all of those to the shelf. I had so many of them. I'm pretty sure there were like 40 something of them. Then I moved some things up front and I put this cloche right front and center because I love it so much and I added this art glass dish as well. I think they look cute up front. I finished all of the cat's meow. I had to scatter some of it around and then I was moving this to look for a marble tray I was missing from the booth and I realized someone had dropped it and it broke and then just placed it back up on the shelf which was kind of sad to see. I added these Corel plates up front. I realized I forgot to bring more shirts. I keep saying I'm gonna do that. I really need to get that done and bring them with the next restock. This is how everything is looking. I added a little strawberry mug up to the front with the other strawberry stuff. I think it looks super cute there. I added an Easter egg and an Easter mug to the side there. And then I put the flower basket over here. I wanted to hang it on the wall, but I didn't have a hook I could hang it on easily. I did hang this candlestick holder up on the wall over here on this side. I ended up switching it out though to put the plaque there. And then I moved it over here and put a candle in it. I switched out the candlesticks back here for the black ones and then I put the new Pyrex dish I picked up right out in the front. I also added the quail picture to the front. I wanted it to be seen like right when you walk to the booth. I think everything came together pretty well today. I'm excited about it. I think my next restock is going to be based around a summer theme. So I'm looking at these seashell glasses and then the sun tea jar and the floral vase. And then I have like a few other seashell things in my booth like these black dishes. I definitely want to display all of this stuff together probably the next time I come. I have some more seashell stuff actually on the other side of my booth as well. Some more little dishes and trinket trays. I like these metal ones a lot. Also this swan I ended up grabbing and putting in the front of the booth right here and it actually already sold uh, like a day after I put it there but this is what it was looking like and I was super happy with it. Okay, I feel so accomplished. I decided to do a voiceover in there because the music is generally pretty loud and if Dalton's not there, I'm not as comfortable talking to myself. I ended up speaking with the booth people before I left and they found the tray that was missing and then also the bowls, the Fiesta Wear bowls. They showed me in the thing from last month that some of them did get returned but then also sold so I don't know if I like didn't see that on my end or if I left that out when I did my little like what sold from last month. But I think that that was correct. As always, like with an antique booth, people pick stuff up and put them in other booths. Like I had a few Fiesta Wear cups in my booth that weren't mine. Um, I think people just like bring them around the store to try to match sets and then end up leaving them. I had like five things in my booth that weren't mine. So I'm sure a lot of my stuff is honestly just sitting in other places in the store. But I mean, kind of frustrating when you feel like you're losing some things, but that's how it goes. That's business. Um, I'm going to get some gas. It got really hot. I need to take my sweatshirt off. I'm going to get some gas. My time isn't that bad. I think I was in there for about an hour. Uh, I got a lot of pictures for Instagram. I'm out of space. <laughs> I ended up bringing like a few things back with me. Um, not putting all of the stuff out. I need to probably pull some things, start like circulating some things maybe to sell on whatnot. I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out. So I'm going to drive home, put this air conditioning on and I'll check in later. All right, I made it home. I actually did take the toll roads. I'm proud of myself. I didn't tell you that yet. I wow. took the toll roads home. Dalton found some things at the I thrifted store. some vintage glassware. This is vintage, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, 1985. 1980... How do you know that? Because uh, I do my research. Bestie. It's temporary by Easy. Lennox. I have the matching casserole dishes in my booth right now. Yep, and I got... You did a great job. I got three mugs and four teacups for $13, I think. 
I'm so excited. I don't even need to thrift anymore. He does it for me. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see me restock the booth again in another video from like a few months ago or a month ago, you can click right here and I'll see you in the next one.